said nope, about it was the Kobolds. Nope. Okay. No, the Dragonborns could understand them because they they obviously speak Draconic. So, but yeah, there was no okay. Dragonborn up there. Thankfully for you guys at level one, there's no Dragonborn up there. <laughs> yeah. No oh, my stomach still hurts from I being sick. I feel like we should. Night. Rush and take the hill. If nothing else, if they come chasing and they have ranged weaponry, I feel like running downhill and sort of with no cover sounds bad. But if we can take the top of the hill and use the hill for cover, I don't know about you all, but I have a crossbow. I mean, it's not perfect aim long range, but I'm hoping you all have something range too and we can pick them off before they get too close to us. I have about six ranged weapons. I'll have to agree, but we need to hurry because I know we're but here, I and the more time we give them the setup, the better. The we have be. intruders. That's what you heard as you were starting to descend the hill, as your scabbard was throwing rocks, oh, yeah. throwing sparks off of the rock. <laughs> but I'd rather not play oh, yeah. the hill. I think we need to get that hill first. If they get up to the top of the hill, it's going to be a lot more difficult to fight to gain the control of it. I agree, right. let's go. And I'll All start right. moving to the crest. So everyone yep. dashes up to the top. I'm going to move you guys over to a new map now. Alright, so you guys charge up the hill. I mean, everybody's up there. Warner, Slars, Rack, Lobo, Carthine, uh, you're all up there. Basically, uh, Warner and Rack, you've pretty much led the charge. Uh, you should be able to move your tokens. You, you see how there's the, the rock encasing the entire, uh, basically it's sort of like, a, uh, uh, like an alcove. You can see that there's the, the ramp leading down into the uh, 10 to 20 foot pit. You can also see that there are kobolds. There's eight kobolds. Uh, they are all brandishing short weapons. And there are also three that have slings. And all of these are, all of, especially the, the kobolds holding the the, the slings are, are spinning them and it looks like they're fixing to, to let them loose so uh, there's no element of surprise here because they knew you were coming, you knew they were here so let's go ahead and everybody target your token and let's do initiative shall we how do I do that? Uh, yeah, target 19. your token and then hit the yeah, initiative nice. macro so my uh, target your token, which is... Like, click on it? Click on the target, yep, yep, click on your token. Yep. And then you'll see all the buttons pop up. Just hit the initiative one. Hit the initiative button. There's no button that pop up. You might be clicking on the wrong token. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh, okay, there we go. <laughs> Alright. So I'm gonna do a couple initiative rolls as well. I'm gonna... Seeing that I have roll 20, usually 5e states that, yeah, you could just go ahead and do one roll for for all of the kobolds, but I'm not because I got an initiative macro, and it's it, it'll be pretty quick to, to do all the, the kobolds separately. So I'm just going to go ahead and roll their initiatives separately, guys. That's, uh, I always do that as well because, if, you know, if you roll a really high initiative with one, they could focus. They could basically focus, wipe fire, out your just party. Tear down somebody. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. They could they could just basically decimate your, your party. I have a question. On my crossbow, that number 3120, is that the range? Or where would the range be? 30 is at regular, 120 is at disadvantage. Alright, I just wanted to make sure. Yep, not a problem. Alright, so there we go. We're, we're in descending order. Looks like I've got three... Four, five, six, seven, eight kobolds there. Wow, I got a couple kobolds that, that were first. All right, so how D&D &D 5e works is you guys basically get two two actions, two main actions. You get your, your movement and your standard action. Basically, your movement, you can move up to your movement, and these are five-foot squares, basically. And you can move, you can attack, and then you can also, if you have more movement left, you can also move if, if you want to. Now take into consideration, if you leave the five foot reach of a creature, you'll take an attack of opportunity. And that is called a reaction. And I'll let you guys know. Uh, I probably, I'm just not gonna blast you with it. I'll, I'll warn you before time, because if you guys are new. And 
yep also some classes like uh rack will have a bonus action which is from two weapon fighting so if you're using two weapons you can use a bonus action and attack with your you know your second weapon but i i think that's that's going to be about it uh the barbarian you're probably going to have to use a bonus action to use rage uh let's see slars you probably have uh your bond you could probably use so there's some bonus action stuff that you can use and you can use spells and whatnot so i'm gonna go ahead and do a couple kobolds before you guys start up i got three kobolds so i'm gonna go ahead and move this kobold up a little bit and he's going to attack the bard actually all right oh, i see the the bard moved up oh, i like it all right, so I'm going to go ahead and attack you with my, my kobold. He is using a, uh, a dagger. He's a plus 37 to hit. No, I'm just kidding on that, man. Oh, my God. <laughs> the baddest level one kobold oh, that you'll roll. ever see. Uh, that's a 17 versus armor class, so I'm sure that's, that's, 13, right? yeah, that's probably <laughs> a hit, yeah. I have a question. One thing I was wondering is my health right because when I actually looked at it, I only have four health. Is that it? Uh, you take one second. You take six damage from the from the damage from the dagger, but no, that that's not you. You should have. You'll have. Yeah, you'll have four now. You have ten originally, but you'll have. Okay. Four well, now. I mean, when I first loaded it up, I was confused by it. Because yeah, I just I just didn't, didn't update it. Up. I just oh, did, right. I just didn't update it. All right. Can't. Sometimes I do miss something, unfortunately. All right, so this uh, this kobold does charge up the ramp and hits you with a pretty solid hit. Actually, hits you for max damage. All right, Dang. so we've got another another kobold, which is this fellow right here. Uh, he is going to move up as well. Oop, wrong screen. Movements. All right, thirty. Two, three, four. All right, so old Rustic, you're getting attacked on rack. Yeah. And the to hit is plus four, I believe. All right, so they also have pack tactics, which the kobold has advantage on an attack roll against a creature if at least one of the kobold's allies is within five feet of him, of the creature. So, yeah, he is within five feet of you, so I will get kobold tactics, so I'm going to do an attack roll <clears throat> with advantage. <clears throat> mm, wow, so that's a 23 versus armor class. Well, the Try kobolds, and dodge it. Yeah, the, the kobolds are, are not taking any shit from you guys. They're not intimidated. All right, ooh, whoa. That's oh my god! You take a you take a total of six damage as well. It's only four plus two. I put the wrong mod. So uh, what you want to do, Rustic, is click on your token and see that little green bubble in the middle. That oh, is your the green life. One? Okay. Yeah, just click on that. Hit minus six and hit enter, and it'll automatically calculate it and take it six. All right, cool. Uh -huh. Wow. So you're uh, you're in a weakened status as well. Holy crap! So, so far, so good. Yeah, you guys are uh, you guys are getting pummeled so far. the The chat channel is going to be hollering TPK pretty soon. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> I'm sure you guys Come have on, done chat. it as well. You got to support us. <laughs> All right, so next up is uh, one of these sling slingshots, uh, and it is this one over here in the very far eastern corner. Now the range on the on the sling is. 30 feet, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and he's going to stay there. Uh, he's without he's definitely 10, 20, 30. He's out of range, so I'm going to roll an attack uh, on disadvantage. And I'm going to go ahead and attack Carthine with disadvantage. And disadvantage is a, a 15 versus armor class. Holy cow. I think that hits Carthine. Yes, that is a hit. Wow. 3 for 3, huh? Uh. <laughs> Another Dang. max damage roll. Holy shit. That's Three ridiculous. Rolls. Yeah, that is really ridiculous. So, 
same thing for you. You just click on your token, click on the, the green bulb, minus six, and you are now, wow, you are bloodied as well. So, well, sorry, you are we in a weakened status. Bloodies is, bloodied is fourth edition, weakened status is five. So, well, for me it is. So, all right, that's it. Uh, Slars, you're up now, man. You get you're you're seeing all of your all of your comrades being hit all around you. All right, um, fire breath. Can I use that more than once? It only lists it as a weapon, but so can I? Okay, so if you uh, let's see, let's go ahead and look at the Dragonborn. Now, when you click on the Dragonborn property, you have the Breath Weapon, and you can use your action to excel destructive energy. Your Draconic Ancestry determines the size, shape, and damage type of the exhalation. So, I believe you are... I, th I believe you're what, the Gold Dragon? So, yes. uh, you do a 15-foot cone, you do fire. So, if you want to do that, uh, you're going to have to pretty much I'm going to have to do a saving throw against your against your saving throw number which is already on your character sheet at the very top which is a 13 spell save DC so all right so if you want to do that we'll we'll let you hit the uh, you're definitely going to be able to hit the two kobolds in front of you you should be able to cook them rather easily all right I'm hoping so okay so that would be just a regular roll d20? Uh, no, you don't have to do anything. You just expend uh, oh. your breath, and you can only use that once. Uh, let's see, I'll give you the official. All right. So when you when you use this, you cannot use it until you had a short or long rest. So the way that we are doing the in these encounters is basically you just get like a, a short rest rest between each encounter. So you'll get that back for the next encounter. That's if you want to use it again. But anything that needs a long rest, we're not we don't do long rest in the in the one shots. Okay. And that's why you guys have the potions and stuff like that. So all right. So you expend your fire breath. It goes in the yep, cone. I'm gonna cook them. It hits both. I need to do two saving throws. So uh, saving throw on the left hand side. So am I rolling them? Nope, I do it. I, right. I do it. Uh, deck saving throw plus two. All right, so I I'm I make one saving throw with a sixteen. All right. And I fail the next saving throw. All right, so your dragon breath. All right, so you're gonna go ahead and do a two d six damage. Go ahead and roll. Uh, go ahead and hit the uh, the, the d six. And you're rolling two, so the first uh, questionnaire you would do two. All right. Oh, you need. That was rough. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't what mod you. Any modifier or no? Nope. Plus two. It's just right. uh, just two d six. All right, come on, D and D gods, you gave them max attacks. That was my bad. That was my bad. I don't. Okay, there we go. Ah, uh, you're killing me. <laughs> Very nice. Hey, that's eight out of About 12. About average. Good, yeah. All right, so your fire breath it covers the entire 15-foot area, and the cobalt on the left is on fire. Uh, he is definitely yes. in a very bad status. He's almost dead. But the cobalt on the right, uh, you incinerated him into nothing, into cinders. Yeah. Epic lag spikes. <laughs> Thank you for the follow, Epic lag spikes. All right, so that's it for you. You can make movement if you'd like to, Slars. Um. Hmm. Oh no, I'm I'm feeling inspired by the flaming kobolds, but I'm not feeling stupid enough to run in <laughs> to the battle. So I will. Considering I'm injured, I'm gonna move back a little bit. Right there, okay? Yeah, it's up to you. I'm not yep. retreating. But. I'll even give <laughs> you I'll even give you cover on that rock. I'm gonna give you half cover, so Alright, cool, thanks. Actually, uh it depends on where where they're shooting you from or, or trying to attack you from. So alright. So there you go. As far as you're you're done. Next up is uh, another kobold, which is this kobold right here. And he does uh he does encroach in. We will kill 
The infiltrators, the infidels. And he basically just tramples right on, you know, the, the smoldering dead kobold. Oh. <laughs> just tramples right on and, and tries to attack uh, Rustic uh, again. Uh, you were my friend. So he, he, he lunges at you with his dagger, and you're able to take both of your swords and basically parry the attack away. So the six versus armor class is a mess. All right. Nice. The next, uh, the next kobold is right here, and he does also encroach in. Boy, they're, they're definitely going for broke here. All right. You're also getting attacked again, Rustic. You're, you're right in the front <laughs> line. Come on. <laughs> and oh. I crit you. So that is a critical hit. That is a uh, max. No, it's not max damage, but uh, Fracious, thank you very much. I'm going to go ahead and do 2d4 plus 2. You can hide behind my rock if you survive. Uh, you, take <laughs> a, you take a total of 7 damage, Rustic. Here that I have died. You you no you didn't die. You're just at zero <laughs> hit points, so you're at zero. Uh, you you do go down. Wow, what a pussy warrior, man! <laughs> All right, so you get crit. Uh, every, actually, everybody gets five exp for the crit as well. So that's that's good. All right, that's it for him. He's done nothing else. Uh, Warner, if you're up, you just saw your comrade fall right beside you. Oh. He, he, you know, and he's such a a valued fighter, and he he always talks such a good talk, and you know how how mighty the Dragonborn all, is, and he just took all a step on him. He, yeah, he just basically folded like a lawn chair. <laughs> Falaro ninety five, thank you for all the follow, Falaro. And make an attack towards that guy. Congratulations on the five points, guys. Everybody gets five points. All right, so <laughs> you're going to go ahead and get in there and uh, get an attack in, huh? Bash his head in. All right, well, give me uh, give me an attack roll, please. I, and for your sake, I, I really hope you hit. <laughs> right in the middle of them. I ah, you're welcome, missed. Toothless. Alright, a, a 10 versus armor class is, a, is definitely a miss on the kobold. And he snarls at you and chuckles. God. At least I'm standing on the... Guys, it is not looking good for the for the party right <laughs> off the bat. It is... Alright, so that's, that's pretty much it for you, Warner. <laughs> <laughs> It's not looking good. These kobolds yeah, are kicking their I ass. Get lucky, Wait, how do bonus actions work? Isn't going to happen. These kobolds have a challenge level of takes eight to equal one level party, and they have one more party member than a four man group. So. Are bonus actions like minor actions? Can I do them during someone else's turn? Sort yeah, sort of bonus. No, you have to do them during your turn. But bonus oh, actions rats. are pretty much they almost do the same thing as as a minor action. It's sort of like a okay. like a quirky little thing that the class can do. So, okay. all right. So I, I also imagine that you entered a rage as well, Warnerv. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Very good. So if you get hit, you'll take half damage. That's pretty much how that works. Okay. So, because so. when you're when you're enraged, you have resistance and pretty much I think it's piercing, slashing, and bludgeoning. So. All right. So now we have a uh, we're up to a uh, to a kobold here, and the kobold uh, sees the sees the the rogue hiding back uh, in the very back and he's gonna he's gonna step up once and you can actually see that he's slinging this uh sling around and it looks like he lets it go towards you so I'm gonna attack at disadvantage because he's uh within the not within the the correct range so I'm gonna do a disadvantage roll and this is on Lobo so it's an eight versus armor class and this this uh this little glue pot it looks like it's a glue pot that hits the wall well hits the stone wall right beside you and it's a very slow drip and it looks sticky and oozy and you can see a little steam coming off of it as well 
So it looks like he's he's trying to hit you with with uh, some kind of gooey ooey substance. All right, and last but not least is this uh, little kobold, this little feller here right in the middle, and he seems to be the one that was uh, barking out all of the commands, and he it looks like he also charges in as well. Man, I really wanted to hit him with a crossbow as soon as it starts and push him into that hole so bad. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can definitely see that there's a there's actually a about a 10-foot wide hole, and you can't see how far it goes down, but Anyway, the, the leader does move up, uh, and he, he basically holds the rest of his uh, action there because it's, it's pretty congested here, so he can't, he can't get any <laughs> further in. But he's still, attack them, finish them. So, Carthines, back up, uh, back to you now. Well, Okay, RNG Jesus, he failed me on the stealth check. Let's, I'm burning hands in all four of those guys. It's All a 15-foot right. cone, so I should be able to hit them without hitting our barbarian, right? I'd hit the 5-foot square in front of me, and then... Uh, let's see. Let's 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 get the cone out here. Let me get my little protractor out. I'm going nerd alert on you guys. I know, I love it. Nerd alert! Nerd alert! All right. So, this is the 15-foot cone. I guess you're going to put it right, like, what, like... Yeah, right in front of me. Okay. But I like it. Yeah, there you go. All right. So, you're going to... You're basically... You're going to hit... You're going to hit the, the, the fighter that's already down, but who cares? He's already down, right? You think he's dead. Ah. <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> So we're we're, we're gonna will. say sure. We're gonna Blank. say sure. You you can hit you can hit everything. You will not hit the barbarian. Okay. Well. Yeah, that's that's pretty solid. I mean, look at that. That's 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 definitely pretty solid. You're gonna hit all the all those little reptilian efforts. Oh I'll, come on. All right. Aren't so you a cool little show off? I I'm was proud of hitting too. I'm going to go ahead and put this down below on the map layer. Uh, I don't know what you're rolling for, but I, I need to do some deck saving throws, so one second. I need to look at your... Oh, 3d6 okay. deck save for half. Uh, I think it's 2d6, isn't it? Dragonborn is 2d6? No, I'm using Burning Hands. Ah, you're using Burning Hands. So Burning Hands is also a 15-foot cone, too. I thought you are using... Okay, yeah, you got it. Because I'm thinking, wait a minute. Yeah, but yeah, Burning Hands is fine. Alright, so what's your spell save DC? Is it 13 as well? Mm-hmm. Okay. First one on the left. <sighs> wow, crit. Made a saving throw. <laughs> Bet middle one in the back. You guys get another 5 EXP. Alright, second one fails. Uh, he basically... Five explodes and his smoldering corpse is now sandwiching the warrior between the warrior and another kobold so <laughs> very nice <laughs> next up the protection versus the yeah, it is uh well he's gonna have to do a saving throw as well so all right the kobold over here on the right he saved as well so what was your total damage seven okay so he he is still up the first Kobold, uh, he does die. He had already taken some damage previously. Uh, now the the last Kobold, that is on Warnerve, uh, fails his saving throw, and he basically incinera he is incinerated as well from Burning Hands. So you took on three of the four, and now we have to get to uh, you, Rustic, seeing that you oh. took some damage. Your, uh, if you click on, if you open up your character sheet, uh, when you open up your character sheet, at the very top, uh, second big block down, hit, click on hit points. And you took damage. So, yep, yep you, when you took damage, so if you take any damage while you have zero hit points, which you were at zero, you, you did take damage, well, you're not going to get a saving throw because you couldn't dodge it. So you suffer a death saving saving throw. So you need to do a 1d20 
And if you roll a 1 through 9, you fail. And if you roll a 10 and up, you you make it. So just roll oh, the yeah. Oh, oh, wait. He's standing on No, you're right. Yeah, hold on. Yeah, no, you're safe. Oh, I'm, I'm just trying to kill you, Rustic. The barbarian oh. stood on him. Yeah, yeah, that's right. The Barbarian. So the Barbarian was sh uh, shielding you, so you don't need to worry about that. So there's actually a, a whole stack of kobolds there. I thought you were between the kobolds. My bad. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to kill him. So sorry, guys. No, I'm just kidding. All right. So nice job, man. I think the 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 tide has just turned for our adventurers. So all right. Can I get the sling to the head again? You can go ahead and do <laughs> movement. So you can do your movement, Carthine, if you want to. Yeah, uh, I'm going to. Kill all right. So now you got to do your your death saving throw because we're back to your turn, Rack. So you have zero. Now this is how this is how zero hit points works. If you succeed three times, you're stable. Or if you roll a natural 20, you're stable and you get a one hit point. If you fail 3d20 rolls, you die. So it's whatever you get the three first. So it's either you live or die. And so you roll a 1d20, and a 1 through 9 is a fail, and a 10 and up is a success. So go ahead and do a 1d20 with no modifiers. So do I roll just... Um, okay. Yep, just a 1d20 with no mods. So yeah, there you go. You've made one successful save. Well, two more? Nope, that's it. That's all you have to do is just do one. Oh. That's your entire turn. Oh. Nice just roll, one. though. Oh. Look at that. Look at that <laughs> level. Look at that crit roll you just wasted as in well. A quit, that's in a crit. <laughs> Unbelievable. Uh, put him the one hit point? It does, yeah. but he... He that cult, that that roll just didn't count. So, oh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. So Lobo, you're up now with the rogue, and you, and you see this this nasty, and now the the stink is starting to come off of that that crap that is on the real slowly running. It's it's really oozy and sticky looking, and it stinks like high hell. So what are you doing, Lobo? <clears throat> uh, I think I'm going to attack some of our. Uh, um, ranged kobolds. Uh, I think we've got the big guy handled in the next couple of turns. Okay. So I guess you're going to probably use your uh, your short bow you have, right? Correct. Um, is there any way for me to get advantage on the uh, these ranged guys? Uh, advantage? No, because the, the only way that you can get advantage is if you're stealthed. Well, if you're hidden or concealed and, and you're not. So uh, gotcha. they, they see you're there. Uh, now, however, you do get sneak attack as a rogue. So if you if you well, you wouldn't be able to get a sneak attack bonus because nobody's within five feet of any of the the living creatures. So oh, if you had, you had allies living, then you could. But seeing that you don't, no, it's just going to be a normal attack and a normal damage roll. So, but you do have a pretty good range on your bow, so you could you could probably uh, attack them with with no penalty at all. Yeah, uh, I'm going to do that, and hopefully I can switch to the uh, big guy next turn. Okay. Sounds like a wiener. Uh, so I'm going to go with the guy in the... Uh